The fourth material type you can add to a landscape in World Creator is the ability to manually import texture maps. Whether you have texture maps from an online library like Polygon, Megascans, or even creating your own custom texture maps, there is a high level of visual fidelity when importing textures. When adding a new material layer and choosing the texture option, you'll see the new import boxes in the texture settings for the different texture map types, such as albedo or the color map, normal maps, roughness maps, ambient occlusion maps, and lastly, displacement or height maps. The same material settings and texturing settings apply here the same way they did with substance materials. One new option though is the use texture import pattern checkbox. This is on by default and it essentially tells World Creator to automatically import all these texture maps at once, assuming all the texture maps are in the same folder and named around industry standard nomenclature. So if we were to go ahead and select the albedo or color input box, choose the appropriate texture map with this channel, in this case it is this color map, add the map and you'll see all the other corresponding texture maps should automatically be imported as well. If the use texture import pattern is unchecked, then it will only import the texture map you've selected to be imported and not the remaining channels. Or in this case, if a map doesn't automatically import into a channel for any reason, such as how it is named, that's okay. Just simply click to add that individual texture map and you're all set. You can also right click a texture map box and it will remove that texture map so you can import a new or different one. Aside from using stochastic distribution, one useful technique is to use the same texture maps in a new material layer, but alter its tint values in conjunction with different distribution layers for varying your results even further. Custom textures are an ideal choice for visualizing a higher level of detail the way you want to see on your terrain but by mixing the four different material layer types into one can also yield some high level thinking and blending control. Not to mention in a future episode, we'll be diving into using custom import textures to help aid in your manual designs, such as with sculpting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.